before we're talking about technology and you talked about the the breakaway group. the breakaway group. yeah so and then you said you know we need to we need to start working on technology to change and to go into space base a lot of people right now know that a lot of technology is hidden and people invent things it's suppressed they invent things it's suppressed and they know all these patents are there so it's a, it's a it's great to say that yeah humanity needs to invent other things but at this time it's almost impossible it's almost impossible every time th- every time somebody invents something it's being suppressed so so people who will say this will say well it's already there and we're going to die out because we invented it but then we're not allowed to bring it forward so no i would argue what what i would argue is that a, a a huge percentage of the things that have been suppressed are really very awkward kind of kludgy efforts to uh rework the same old concepts and maybe get a little bit more out of them they aren't transformational technologies so there there'd be a small percentage that might be transformational um but the the most of them are reworked engines well you don't have engines in a space based civilization um at all and so that whole idea of making an engine that gets 50 more miles to the gallon is like what do we need that for uh we're not doing engines we're not doing that kind of thing and so there's a i've said a lot um we need to understand the physics and i hope i'm not upsetting anybody we need to understand the physics and the science of the future because it's the foundation for all of the new thinking of what's possible and how things really work and there it's very simple yes you can do some really sophisticated things with it but the basics are very simple and that is something that you will find in almost every scientific or 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 mathematical aha is that it really is very simple it's not complicated if you have to if it if it gets all twisted and torqued around then you you're not to the base yet you're not to the base principle or the base force and how that force operates um and so you end up with a a mess and a lot more work and it it isn't very elegant it it lacks elegance um and so once we begin to get that those new principles of what's possible then people can embrace all of the new technologies all the new ways of living all the new ideas and they'll get creative with those and say well if that's the case then maybe i can do this maybe i can do that maybe i can build this or build that um that's really where we have to get to So what you're saying right now is that there has been on this planet advanced technology that could get us off off the off the planet go into space yes. because the breakaway groups have it but that that's the current true. but that the current uh, patents and the technology that's there now is still clunky it's it's not it's it's <laughs> yes. two different things so that's what you're saying so we have not currently all the what we talk about suppressed technology is right. is not is not equivalent to what we would need to to get off the planet is that what you're saying that's what i'm saying and i have often had this perception it's more of a question um that goes something like this are they suppressing that technology when it's not even transformational because they don't even want to give somebody an inch to move ahead that would take away from the gas the oil um all of the you know the stuff that we have here they don't want people to move beyond that at all they want total control and and i don't really think a lot of that stuff is worth a lot of the suppressed stuff i don't it's not worth a hill of beans because the principle behind it is not transformational it's not based on the new energy 
When you have new energy available, you have the possibility of entering an entirely new world. And, and that's just the way that it is. And they know that. The cabal, the, com, the corporations know that. And, and so the suppression has been um, by the big corporations who want to control everything. And that's where our struggle is um, at this point in time. Not that I want to fight them. Um, and like I said uh, last night at the tea, we're going to have to face these corporations. Um, and how we do that is, is absolutely important. Uh, we don't want to take ourselves down at the same time we're trying to move past them. So I don't think we can confront them in the way most people think when they hear the word confrontation. I think it's going to have to be, we have to build another world that is much more self-sufficient, much more agrarian, so we have a base of support. And then when they aren't getting the money, the kinds of attention, um, when they don't have all of us on the hook for their supplies, their foods, their clothing, their materials, their drugs, when we have moved past that, then we have some freedom and we can begin to then move ahead in leaps and bounds. And I think a lot of those corporations or people in those corporations will end up saying, hey, yeah, I like that. That's a better idea. So they will get on board. We don't have to confront or tear apart. May I don't think those corporations. We just have to say, ah, I'm going over here to do this. And so all things, all structures can only survive with attention because attention is energy. Energy flows where consciousness goes. Um, and that's just the bottom line. And so when we stop attending to the corporations, then they will just fizzle. And hopefully, slowly, because they provide a lot of support that we need, that people, we can't just pull the rug out from under those, some of those corporations, because we need them. So that's, you know, how to do that gracefully? It's one person at a time. Why do we need them? Why do you say that? Because they are the ones supplying us with food, water, clothing, shelter, transportation, and communication. Yeah, the next step is for us to ourselves become independent from that. Right. And so you start with the most basic, which is food and water and shelter. And in the meantime, they're moving ahead with, uh, you know, transportation. Um, we have to be able to heal ourselves without all the, their methods, et cetera. Um, if you don't survive because you don't know how to heal yourself, then it's over for you at least or for whoever. If we can just start moving in the right direction, no big fight, no big argument, the legal system is gonna do some things. It's gonna break some of those big corporations up. I think it's also what I've seen is that some of them become, well, actually that's already happen, happening with Huawei. Well, I was gonna say with the robes, some of those big corporations were, um, how do you call that? Uh, banned from operating in our country. Even though we had come apart, they were not welcome. And actually Huawei is the first company that that has been banned and their products have been banned um and so how each i'm going to say region and council how each region and council decides to manage themselves is is a key it's a key piece in terms of uh not only their own ability to survive and to thrive but to develop further so we have we have brilliant, brilliant people everywhere. Are they celebrated? Are they encouraged? Are they supported? No, probably not. But they're there. And um, 
that um I forget the name of it. <laughs> there's a little boy who um uh, what he's he's about eight years old and he remembers his former life as a uh, scientist building spacecraft he's eight years old he has developed the entire design the mathematics the propulsion system everything for a spacecraft those are the kinds of people that we need to be paying attention to and not sticking in a school and and getting that kind of gift of taking that gift celebrating that and applying that and encouraging him to go further keeping him alive and well there are others the the new kids coming in oh you know people are always afraid of hybridization etc some of those new kids are going to save our butts so it's, it's nothing to be afraid of nothing to be afraid of <laughs> <laughs>